Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows Security Virus and Threat Protection when you go ahead and try and update your Defender or if perhaps you're trying to run a scan or something, you notice that your Virus and Threat Protection is managed by you or your organization. So if you're trying to get around this, I'm going to show you guys how to do it and we're going to start by closing out of here. And you want to go ahead, open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a regedit or registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now in the registry editor, you want to go expand the HKEY local machine subfolder. So either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to, to expand the drop down. And then you want to do the same thing for the software folder. I'm going to make this a little wider here. So after you've done it for software, we want to go down to Policies, expand that one as well, expand Microsoft, and now you want to go expand or locate Windows Defender, I should say. So just left click on the Windows Defender one time here. And now on the right side, you should notice if we expand this column, you can see a little bit better. There should be something that says Disable Anti-Spyware right here. You want to go ahead and right click and delete. And if you get a confirmed value delete, you want to just left click on yes. So that will remove that and once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in Windows Defender. And one of the best managers should say security at a glance or Windows Defender settings. However you want to access it, it's up to you. But if we head back over here, it says virus and threat protection now. It only says that it's been stopped, so let's restart now. And we're just going to give it a moment here. And then you, when you left click on load updates, it's going to begin checking for updates. So, pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. Do about able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.